I want to, in my remaining minutes, just bring up the issue of, of uh, critical minerals and, and the elements that are so necessary, uh, the discussion that's been had about the recycling. And as much as recycling holds promise, uh, I'll just remind that you can't recycle unless you, until you put it into the cycle in the first place. So uh, we recognize that we have work to do when it comes to ensuring uh, that these resources are there. I was part of a discussion yesterday um, uh, getting a little bit of an update about a project in the, in the Salton Sea where they're taking the geothermal brine and, and basically extracting from that lithium. And there, it, apparently it, it holds some, some incredible process. But I, I mentioned uh, the geothermal brine that you have in, in, uh, in Iceland and how they're using it for, for skin and facial products. Um, maybe we can be doing that as well as figuring out a ways. To I know we all survive. tried it. It didn't help us much either. Oh, yeah. Come on, some of us. <laughs> Benefited by it. Mr. Chairman, I am well over my time, but this is an area that I think uh, has great promise and great interest, um, uh, but we clearly don't want to get too far behind when it comes to uh, being able to develop and process our own critical minerals and those uh, important elements here in this country as well. So thank you, Mr. Chairman.